Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Glasshouse Maya. You know nobody flyer. And today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm not going to be trying on any clothes in this video. Actually, this video, as you can see by the title, is a capsule wardrobe video. So my goal is to create a minimalistic wardrobe, okay? Meaning that I have pieces that are special to me pieces that are essential, pieces that last or can stand the test of time, okay, in fashion, all right? Um, they never go out of style, basically, okay? So, if you're interested in this video, keep watching. <laughs> I am creating this capsule wardrobe and I have written down some things so that I do not forget because I want to you know make sure I express the importance of why I'm doing this okay because I um I have too many clothes okay and if you know and if you've been watching this channel then you know that I've read this concept about if I get something I give something okay and so I haven't been doing it so that has caused me to collect a lot of clothes. But the reason that I am doing this is because um, over the years, I've spent a lot of money on clothes that I'm not wearing. If I haven't worn it in the last, I would say even six months. A lot of people say the last two months. But if I haven't worn it in the last six months to a year, then most likely it's not something that I really like or it's not something that I gravitate towards. So the end game for me when it comes to this minimalistic capsule wardrobe is to focus on the quality, not the quantity, okay? Um, you know I like to do a lot of hauls and I like to go out and find things that are inexpensive and good and um, I'm going to continue to do that but I just have to find a way that allows me to do that without keeping all of these items okay so if that's opening up a Poshmark store if that's donating it or whatever the case may be selling it then that's what I'm gonna have to do here but the goal is to wake up okay and be able to choose an outfit in less than five minutes five minutes okay because I don't have all of these choices to choose from. I don't have to go and sort through hundreds of different pairs of items to choose something to wear. Okay? So, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Creating this capsule wardrobe is going to help me also save money and not buy a bunch of pieces that I don't really need okay and that I don't really like and just going out and buying it just because it's on sale so this is going to help me choose my outfits more quicker it's going to help me be more organized with what it is and kind of just create my own style now mind you I'm not adding any um shoes or accessories to this wardrobe I'm also uh not sure how many pieces I'm gonna add okay we'll see after I go take everything out of my closet so that's what we're gonna go do today we are going to go take everything I have hanging in my closet and the pieces I got a few here behind me um that I'm gonna keep out I'm gonna put on this rack and then we're gonna count it and we're gonna see what we come out with okay that's what we're doing today a capsule wardrobe is a set of clothings that, you know, to your own particular liking, your style, that never goes out of style. These could be the items that you truly love and the items that you rock the most, okay? So there's, there's no, this is an individual thing, okay? There's no particular thing that you should have in your capsule wardrobe. Um, maybe a few items like coats and jeans and things like that. But just do it to your liking, okay? Because you know this channel is all about individuality and doing what you like. And choosing the items that you like, that you have in your closet. 
and, and making it your own and, and just creating your individual style. Because that's what we like to do over here in this glass house. So like I said before, I don't know how many pieces. We'll just have to see once I go to my closet and I'm going to take you with me and we're going to throw everything on my bed and we're going to separate it into two piles. We're going to separate it into things I wear the most and things I hardly ever, never wear. And then after that, we can count it all out and see what I'm going to keep. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go through the containers in my closet today. Um, I don't want to get overwhelmed by too much clothing and deciding and all of that. So, let's just get right into this video, alright? If this is something you're interested in watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button for your girl. Alright, let's go. So let's go to my room and I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can kind of see what's going on in my closet because... Baby, it is a catastrophe right now. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, boom. So, here's my bed, and this is where we're going to be chunking everything. Okay? So, let me go in here, and here's my closet. Okay, I've shown you this before. So, over here are mainly the things that I do wear the most, okay? A lot of sweatpants because it's been cold, jeans. So this section here is the section that I wear the most. This section here, I don't really wear this. I don't even know why it's out. And then on this side, and I barely can like maneuver in here because I had no clothes on this side. And this is just stuff that I've accumulated in the past few months, coats, jackets, uh sweaters jeans all of that stuff you've seen in my videos the goal for this closet today okay is to take everything out of here throw it on my bed and see what i want to keep and what i want to eliminate okay and get rid of and um just organize for one thing, um, put all my jeans with jeans, put all the colors together and all of that stuff. So let's just hop right into it. And that part of the video is probably just going to be a time lapse of me taking things out, throwing it on the bed, separating it. And I will do voiceover or whatever during that part. And I'll come back when I have selected the items that I want on my cart in my other room cart my rack in my other room uh and consider those pieces as my minimalistic wardrobe i feel like this is gonna be a task a real task for your girl so let's just get into it so i'm starting with the things that i know i don't wear okay so wish me luck all right So, let's take you back into my closet, let's go get the rack, and let's get separated. Because the taking it out of the closet, okay, that was the easy part. This is the hard part, deciding which pieces to keep, and which, 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 which pieces to get rid of. That's the hard part. So let's go do that. Okay, so first of all, here's everything the bed stacked to the maximum okay okay so as you can see I took everything out everything is out um that is actually my jewelry bag it's a jewelry bag that I've had for a while now as you can see like I got stuff up here as well shoes that I haven't worn in at least two or three years I've had those shoes for that long still got the tag on so that's what I'm talking about okay 
I'm not even gonna tackle any containers of clothes. And I also have all of those Shein clothes that you've seen in the Shein haul just thrown up there. Now today I plan on hanging all of that, hanging all of those items and then like some artwork and paintings and stuff that I found. So basically the only thing I want at the top are like accessories. Um, so yeah. So let's go grab that rack out of the other room and bring it in to the bedroom. So the thing that I'm aiming for is to at least have my jackets because it's cold right now. Um, and then as the weather changes, I'll, you know, put the jackets back in the closet and, you know, just put out more spring and summer pieces. Um, the few pair of jeans that I wear the most and then um i feel like you should have certain pieces we'll we'll talk about that part once i get everything on the rack off the rack whatever so i'm actually gonna decide to move some things around so that you can see what i'm keeping and what i'm not keeping and then in my closet at the bottom i have this green container filled with uh clothes on the hangers that i'm probably gonna add to this um, once I go through this stuff first because that stuff down there I know I don't wear um, and it's still on hangers but I kind of want to clear it out so I'm gonna move some of this over there onto my bench and then we'll get separated okay all right give this video a like a comment a thumbs up all right for you there okay anything new I'm keeping okay this is new. This is new. Goodbye. This is all newer stuff, so we're keeping this. This leggings, I'm gonna take it off the hanger and we are going to put these in the containers in the closet that contains leggings and things of that nature. I always feel like if you're gonna have something in your wardrobe, black and white tanks, are essential okay you can wear those pretty much with everything now you're probably thinking there's not much being thrown away anybody wants this it is a size flags are pretty wide I haven't worn it okay and I'm telling how long I've had it and it has like and the slip inside, okay, black and white, it's like these patches on it, size small, if you're interested, give me up in the comments, we'll work something out. of these clothes because they're so compacted in my closet I forget that I have them just like I forget I had this and this
I feel like I'm going nowhere fast. Because out of all of that stuff you just seen, I probably put like 75% of it back in my car. Okay, so that's pretty much what I am going to put away for right now. Um, I will take you into my closet because trying to do this all in one day is, is too overwhelming for me at the moment. Okay, so when I'm done uh, deciding what I want on the rack, the stuff that I put back in my closet, and then this pile... I'm gonna get rid of this stuff, either sell it, give it away, whatever, hit me in the comments. And then what I have left on the rack is gonna be kind of the things that I'm gonna go to this rack to help me pick an outfit faster rather than going in my closet. And a lot of the things that I put back in my closet, I'm probably gonna tuck away and I'll be back. Maybe another day, but I will be back. Okay, so it's been about two and a half to three hours later. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I think I'm getting a headache. Um, but anyway, so here are the clothes that I've kept on the rack. Haven't counted it yet. We'll count it in a moment. Okay. Um, let me turn this around so that you can see what I'm working with here. Okay, so on this side are all the hangers that came off of all of the clothes. And I just folded them up a few pairs of jeans, a South Pole jacket, and some white pants, and a bunch of tops, uh, like a leather white crop top here. Okay. Not gonna keep that too small. And then just pretty much all of those article of clothing came out to be around about 40 articles of clothing that your girl is getting rid of okay and I'm gonna go put these hangers away so we can go do that and I switched all my hangers on my rack to all black I still got a few like in here that's colored but that's okay so I'm just putting this down here with some of the clothes that I am gonna tuck away for the season. Just some long sleeve uh, sweaters and things like that. And then this, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna try and take the seam off and take this like shiny pattern thing that they didn't stitch to it off of there and keep that. If not, then it's gonna go. But yeah, so. This is what's in the containers below. Just putting those hangers away. So yeah, just putting all this stuff away now and trying to get organized with the rack. Pretty much how the closet set up how I need it to be. And honestly, just getting rid of those clothes really just opened up a lot of space. And open my eyes to the fact that I don't need this much stuff. It's too much. Too much. 
so um i'm just gonna get rid of it you know like i said either i'll sell it give it away most likely it'll be given away if nobody hits me in the comments about any of those pieces within like a week it's gone it's gone fam because I, I don't like to hold on to the stuff you know i don't like to hold on you know you got to let it go you got to let it go okay so i'm gonna pause this finish what I'm doing then I'll show you how I got the closet set up okay so as you can see it looks a lot more organized and bare <laughs> now that side ain't so cluttery and I just push everything to the back so on this side I have some sweaters and some jackets all of my sweaters jackets and like heavier winter stuff like my sweatpants leggings things like that on this side i have like my graphic tees uh some blouses that i have and what else and some denim like shirts long sleeve shirts tucked in the back and then just right here up front because this is where i go to mainly um i just organize my jeans from dark to light so i have black gray some tan jeans in here uh to lighter color jeans i have this is literally the only pair of pants that i have besides sweatpants and stuff that are not jeans and then i just have all of my sleeveless i don't have much sleeveless all right i have the shirts that i got from shein and then like some bralettes and some crop shirts here and that's pretty much it i think i done pretty darn good um getting everything <laughs> just getting everything the way i need it to be fam okay so that's where i'm pretty much gonna well let's count let's do this let's count the items that i kept and look at those on my rack and then that will be it for this video because the girl needs to take a breather In through the nose, out through the mouth. Give me a minute. Okay, so I've counted the hangers and there are 37 hangers. So I essentially have these 37 pieces in my wardrobe. No, I have not organized it how I want it to be, but I know that I'm gonna want jackets here and then probably shirts and then pants last, okay? Um, this ain't actually a jacket, it's a corduroy shirt. I just like it because I feel like it's a different, unique piece. I also put a couple of shorts on here. I have these like men's style camo shorts that I need to wear. Um, and then I have like these tan like shorts. Um, I have kept out a couple of sweaters to wear, just these two. And then the rest of this is just like, you know, this blouse and um the rest is mostly shirts on here it's mostly shirts shirts that i just bought so i wanted to just have them out make sure i wear them but eventually i'm probably gonna take them off this rack and only put like uh a white tee is essential to me i feel like you should always have let me turn y'all around i feel like you should always have like a clean white tee fam like always so a fresh white tee is always good like i said tank shirts a nice denim jacket a faux leather jacket a pair of black faux leather leggings um your favorite pair of jeans your favorite shirts to wear i may have been off camera there because i'm holding it in my hand my bad um <laughs> Your favorite pair of jeans to wear and um, um, some pieces that like are, you know, different, okay? Like these corduroy mustard pants, okay? Other than jeans. And then I just, like I said, you know, just the new stuff is on here right now. Because that is the stuff that I need to be wearing. Like, why buy it if you're not wearing it? You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be it for this video. I thank you for watching it and I'm going to reorganize this and I'll come back in a new video and show you what I've decided to do 
what I've set up for myself and how it's all going to turn out. All right. So thank you for watching. Thank you for be here, being here. Thank you for being here. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and comment down below. If you want any pieces that you've seen, go bye-bye. Okay. And uh, hit your girl up in the comments for sure about that. But I, I'm out. I got to go. <sighs> in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'll let y'all in the next one. Thank you.